And to understand this profound truth, you got to understand lions. Like, I love lions. Anybody that knows me knows that I love lions. They're all in my office. They're at all in my home. Like, they're on my desktop. Like, I love Lion King. I love Lionheart from Care Bears. I love Leo from Thundercats. Like, I love lions, right? I watched National Geographic for hours as a kid. Still do. Because I love lions. And one of the things I learned about lions is they're terrible hunters. In fact, statistically, they are the worst hunter on the planet. They are the worst predator on the planet. But they do have a successful tactic. Well, to them it's successful. But their most used tactic in hunting is that they send this old, decrepit, beat-up, ugly, mangy-looking lion into the bush in front of the prey. And this lion's job is to roar really loud to, to, to scare it, the prey so the prey turns around and runs in the opposite direction because there's an ambush waiting with the rest of the pride in the bush. Now pause that for that for, for a sec. And let's jump over to Ephesians 6 chapter where, where Paul talks about the armor of God, putting on the armor of stop you from walking in your calling. The second enemy of new is disobedience disobedience. So when, when Jesus met Peter, Peter was out fishing. This is what he does. He's a, he's a professional fisherman. And Jesus said those famous words to him, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And for the next three years, Peter got a front row seat to Jesus' ministry, his miracles, and his message. I mean, think about this. For three years, Jesus personally poured out. Harvey's still here. And I looked at her and I said, man, this dude in here got the same name I got. <laughs> she said, you know what? You a stupid <laughs> And he said, Steve Harvey, you here? Come on up. I'd never been on stage in my life as a stand-up. I ran up on stage. Long story short, they had a clap off. I won $50 amateur night. For 45 minutes, I cried all the way home. That girl said, why are you crying? It ain't but $50. I said, no, you don't understand. I was born tonight. I said, this is what I'm going to do the rest of my life. She said, you just won $50. You got to go back. I said, I'm going to go back. But this is what I'm going to do the rest of my life. October 9th, the next morning, I went to my job and quit my job with $50. $50. I just quit. Ex-wife left me. Mother-in-law, oh, boy, I cost him here. Made $3,000 first year in business, $5,200 the second year, $7,300 the third year. Became homeless, lost everything I ever owned, lived in a car for three years. I kept telling them jokes. My father was the only one who believed in my money. But I took a chance when it didn't, when it wasn't, it didn't line up. But you can't wait till it line up. You gotta jump. If you ever plan it on sewing, you're gonna have to jump. suggest you jumping like I did that ain't for the faint of heart but if you don't do it now when you gonna do it I haven't forgotten about you I said you'd go into the promised land you're still going to go in there were three giants living on that land Caleb could have said God give me another place those people are too big I'm too old now 
No, don't settle for a watered down version of your dream. At 85, Caleb said, God, I still... and defeated those giants and made it into the promised land. It's not too late for you to become all you were created to be. God has not forgotten about the dreams he put in your heart. You're not running out of time, you're running into time. God is ordering your steps. Opportunities that didn't happen years earlier, you didn't miss it, it wasn't the right time. The door had to close. The people had to be against you. The business had to not make it. It was all setting you up for the best wine. God saves the best for next. I believe and declare you're about to come in to some best. Best opportunity, best relationship, best health, best resources. Like that widow woman, because you keep God first place, you're going to go from running out to running over. From not enough to more than enough.